Hey there, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into an incredible simulation platform called Habitat 3.0. It's a game changer for studying how humans and robots collaborate in home environments. First up, it brings us an incredibly accurate humanoid simulation, tackling the complex challenges of modeling diverse appearances and motions, all while keeping things running smoothly at high speeds. Next, it introduces a fantastic human-in-the-loop infrastructure, allowing real human interaction with simulated robots through mouse keyboard or even a VR interface. This opens up exciting possibilities for evaluating robot strategies with human input. And finally, we get to explore two fascinating collaborative tasks, social navigation and social rearrangement. So if you're as intrigued as we are about the future of human-robot interactions, you're in for a treat. Let's jump right into the world of Habitat 3.0. To create robots that can effectively interact with humans, we need realistic human models for training in simulations. They design these humanoid agents considering their appearance and motion, shear behavior. Appearance. They represent humanoids with an articulated skeleton connected by rotational joints. A surface mesh is attached to the skeleton, and its vertices are adjusted based on the skeleton's pose using linear blend skinning, LBS. This balances simulation speed and visual fidelity. They use SMPLX, a data-driven human body model, to generate realistic skeletons and meshes, allowing for variations in body shape and pose. Motion behavior. SMPLX encodes pose and shape using parameters J and beta. J represents joint rotations for poses, while beta captures body shape variations. Pose-dependent blend shapes adapt the relationship between joints and skin mesh based on the pose. We optimize for efficient loading and reposing of humanoid models. This approach ensures fast, diverse, and realistic human models for training robots and simulations. They have created a human-in-the-loop platform to enhance human-robot interaction. This tool enables human operators to control humanoids in a simulated environment using a mouse keyboard or VR interface, facilitating real-time evaluations and data collection. The tool is built on the foundation of the AI Habitat Simulator allowing for smooth integration of existing data sets and simulation capabilities. Additionally, they have simplified the development process by implementing end-user logic in Python and providing user-friendly wrappers for low-level simulation tasks. The goal is to design an assistive robot capable of executing commands like bring me my mug or follow Alex and help him collect the dishes. This requires the robot to find and follow humans at a safe distance. To assess this, a social navigation task is created. In this task, a humanoid moves within an unseen environment, and the robot, equipped with a depth camera, a binary humanoid detector, and information about the humanoid's relative distance and heading, must locate and follow the humanoid while maintaining a safe distance between 1 to 2 meters. Two me Finding success determines if the robot successfully locates the humanoid within the maximum episode steps, reaching within one to two neomers while facing the humanoid. Finding success. Weighted by path steps, assesses the efficiency of the robot in finding the humanoid compared to an oracle with full knowledge of the humanoid's trajectory and the environment map. It's calculated as S multiplied by the minimum steps the oracle would take. Following rate F evaluates the ratio of steps, where the robot maintains a distance of 1-2 malware from the humanoid while facing towards it, relative to the maximum possible following steps. This is most of the gist of the paper. Let's hear from Meta how the framework works. Habitat 3.0 is a simulator designed to develop social embodied agents that assist and cooperate with humans. It supports both humanoid avatars and robots, thus allowing the study of collaborative human-robot tasks in home-like environments. To ensure generalization of our AI models, our simulator offers a wide array of human poses and appearances with multiple gender representations and body shapes. Furthermore, our simulator supports a broad spectrum of actions ranging from simple behaviors like walking and waving to more complex behaviors like interacting with objects. Diversity extends to the scenes as well, as Habitat 3.0 utilizes the Habitat Synthetic Scenes dataset 
a collection of over 200 scenes and over 18,000 objects. Another pivotal feature of Habitat 3.0 is a human-in-the-loop tool facilitating interactive evaluation of AI agents. Through this tool, humans can collaborate with autonomous robots using mouse and keyboard or a virtual reality interface. Aiming at reproducible and standardized benchmarking, Habitat 3.0 presents two collaborative human-robot tasks. The first task, called Social Navigation, involves the robot finding and following a humanoid avatar while maintaining a safe distance. Think of scenarios like having a video call while moving around your home. The second task, Social Rearrangement, involves the robot working collaboratively with the humanoid avatar to rearrange a set of objects from their initial placement to their desired location. The agents must coordinate to achieve this goal together as efficiently as possible. We conduct an in-depth study of different baselines on both tasks. Here we show one of our end-to-end -end learned policies on the social navigation task the robot adeptly navigates an unseen environment, locating and following the humanoid avatar while maintaining a safe distance. Notice that the robot will yield space to the avatar, allowing their unobstructed movement. Here's an episode of the social rearrangement task, where a learned policy efficiently splits the task between the robot and the humanoid avatar, improving efficiency over the avatar operating alone. These findings also extend to our human-in-the-loop study where learned robot policies enhance the human's efficiency. Please refer to the detailed results sections in the paper. This is all from our side. Please let us know in comments if you want us to cover any other model. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you all in the next video.